Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm so excited to show you my finale for my Finish 6 by Solstice Project Pan. This project pan was in collaboration with Angela. I'll leave her Instagram page down below. Thank you, Angela, for suggesting this project pan collab. I just had so much fun and I had a great time getting to know you better. And I cannot wait to collab. I hopefully hope that we can do another season of project pan in 2019. Before we jump into this finale, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these seasonal project pans, and if you have it and you like to, I hope you will consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon, meh, so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday, and for the rest of December, a video or live stream every single day. So if you haven't seen the previous two updates or the introduction, I'll throw the playlist up in the cards if you'd like to catch up before this finale. But essentially I had six projects, projects, I had six products with one bonus that was kind of a carryover from my last project pan, which was a finish five by fall. And I was able to finish six out of those seven. I am very proud of myself. <laughs> So let me go ahead and show you all the products. So the first product that I totally finished up finally was a primer from Burberry. This is the Nude Radiance Number no. 1 Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. And I scraped this guy out. Okay, so funny story. I was trying my best to get this pump off. I thought I could just kind of like pop it off. Almost broke a couple of nails. I almost broke my cuticle thing because I was trying to use that to take it off. And then I tried using uh, one of my eyeshadow brushes. And that's what happened. Yeah, so Burberry One Sigma Zero. I totally broke a brush trying to open this up. So essentially what I did is I just scraped around in here as best as I could. Unfortunately, I now have little pieces of wood stuck in what's left in here so I just called it quits I said I've gotten plenty of use out of this I used up the majority of it and what's left in there I either couldn't get out with my spatula or it has little pieces of wood chips in it from that brush that I broke I was definitely reaching for this more in the fall I felt I felt that like now in the winter I'm reaching for a different kind of primer um, but I am glad that I was able to get full use out of this. This was actually one of the first like luxury products I ever purchased last year and ever purchased overall. So I'm glad that I was able to finish it up. The next product that I totally finished is from Dior. This is the Air Flash Foundation in the shade 201. So yeah, I only knew it was done when it would no longer spray out product. And I think that little ball thing is like at the bottom of the thing. I used to like this by itself in like the summer, but as I was getting more into winter, I was definitely mixing this foundation more, particularly mixing it with my Catrice foundation, one of my new holy grails of all time. But those two together, I really liked the finish. I liked that the Catrice gave this a little bit more coverage, and I liked that this was a bit light, so it was lightening up the Catrice just a little bit. Again, a higher end product that I'm glad I was able to fully use up and get my money's worth out of and enjoy. All right, the next product that I finished up, I believe this was done during my last check-in, the Kylie Concealer. Done. Scraped out. I do like that I could pull a stopper out of this one and actually get in there and scrape everything out. I do have one more Kylie Concealer, and I think I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to probably keep it in my everyday makeup basket because I'm still using it right now. I like mixing it in with other concealers recently. Um, I used to have two more. I decluttered, not decluttered, but I gave one of them to a friend of mine who really wanted to try the Kylie Concealer formula, and it's like, why do I have two? For, like, I can't use them all. So I gave her one of the shades, so I'm just going to finish up my other shade. Hopefully, I don't know how much I actually have left in that one. Oh, just drop it. Yeah, the next one I'm using is the shade Ivory, and it still looks pretty full, so I'll probably have that for a bit. The next two are products that were finished in my last update, the Natasha Denona Loose Powder totally empty. I did have a little bit of a ring around here last time, and the way I used that up, I actually had a loose powder that I kind of liked, but I hated the packaging. It was the Cover FX little mini sample one. So I emptied that powder out into here and then used it up, and it actually got out the rest of the Natasha Denona powder. So that's a good hint that I now know about how to use up 
an entire powder. Next we have the paint pot in soft ochre. Again, this is totally finished. I, I need to clean this out because I do want it back to MAC it, so I need to go in with like soap and actually like fully clean it out, but it is totally used up. The next product was again, I believe, finished up during my last update. This is the Balm Sexy Mama Translucent Powder. I can now recycle this little pan. I really like this powder. Recently I've been reaching for the next powder that I deposited in my little Z palette that I'll show you in just a second, but this is one of my holy grail powders. I always buy it when they're half off from the Balm because they're $10 and to me that's an incredibly affordable powder. So now we're down to my seventh product, the only one that I couldn't finish, but you know what? I think I got pretty dang close. And this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer right there. So zoomed in, this is how much we have left. There's just a little crescent moon left in here. Honestly, I think if I had given this like another week, week and a half, I could have finished the whole thing. Even though I didn't finish the whole thing, I am very, very proud of myself that I got this close because I had just repressed this right around the beginning of this project. So to go from like this full pan to just this, really awesome. I don't think I'll include this in my next project pan whenever that starts. I think I'm going to do a spring themed one because I'm hoping to have just finished by the end of 2018. So that still lives in my Z palette along with my Rimmel powder that I really like and my Smashbox contour palette. So six out of seven products totally finished up. I think that's pretty dang good. I am proud of myself and I'm very proud that I almost finished up that last seventh one. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you liked this season of Project Pan, you'll give this finale a thumbs up. Let me know down below the last product that you finished up and if you want to see any more of these seasonal projects. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.